Looking by Nadia Wheatley and Matt Otley. And this is published by Kane Miller. All the boys in Mr. Barrowclough's class saw things the same way. Except for Luke, who looked at things differently. Every Friday afternoon during art class, Luke got into trouble. When Mr. Barraclough told the class to paint a portrait, Luke put the nose and ears in the wrong place. When Mr. Barraclough told the class to paint an apple, some of the boys did green apples and some of the boys did red ones, but Luke chose another color entirely. Even the other boys thought that Luke was weird. Whenever Mr. Barraclough saw one of Luke's pictures, he exploded with lit rage. Why do you do this, boy, he yelled. Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. One Friday, Mr. Barraclough told the class to paint what they saw through the window. Luke used his imagination. When Mr. Barraclough saw what Luke had done, he went ballistic. He screamed at Luke, he tore up the painting, he broke Luke's brushes into little tiny pieces. What's wrong with you, boy, Mr. Barraclo shouted. Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. That just made Mr. Barraclo even more wild. The next Friday morning on the way to school, Luke turned less left instead of right at the corner of Homer Street and hopped on the first bus that came along. He didn't care where he went as long as Mr. Barraclo wasn't there. Luke stayed on the bus till he saw a building that looked like an ancient palace. There weren't any guards at the door, so Luke went in. For the first time in his life, Luke felt at home. Whoever lived there seemed to look at things in just the way Luke did. Luke wondered what Mr. Barraclough would say if he were here. Even in the dining room, everything looked just perfect. After lunch, Luke went sightseeing. No matter how far he looked, there are more and more things to look at. He felt as if he had entered a whole new world. Just when Luke felt that he could burst with happiness, he found himself inside this world. A bus to Homer Street was waiting for him. Luke sat in his favorite window seat. As he made his way back, everything seemed to have changed. Even school looked more exciting than Luke could ever have uh, imagined. As he got off the bus, he could hear the bell ring. Friday afternoon was starting. Luke raced into class. He could see the, the other boys staring at him. Where have you been, boy, they asked. Tell you later, Luke promised. This afternoon, boys, said Mr. Barraclough, we're going to paint a picture of this watermelon. The other boys groaned. Luke reached for his brush and to began to paint what he saw. Mr. Barraclough didn't know what to say, so he said nothing. And that's it. That's Luke's way of looking by Wheatley.